Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? Thank you. <laughs> Mom, have you ever been internet famous before? Not that I know of. No. <laughs> yes, the paparazzi lurking in the bushes. Here too. Here too. There's Don paparazzis. Um, I'm trying to get the fire going. It's uh, it uh, seems to be burning a little bit, but I've got it open there. Um, you can actually see me, I can see you, which is really nice because uh, the past couple of videos that we did with uh, Tato, our father, and um, with uh, Andy, um, one of my best friends, um, it, the color was a little washed out, so hopefully this is going to be uh, good for everyone out there to see because uh, we can see each other nicely. Uh, you being my mom, uh, you raised us in Toronto. Uh, there was uh, Teras, our older brother, um, uh, my older brother, me, and Larissa, our musical sister. And... Um, uh, you are a music teacher. Uh, you're now retired. So, did you want to tell us a little bit about uh, raising us as kids and teaching us how to sing? To teach uh, grade one and true right off the bat, where I could do a lot of music <laughs> and plan these festivals and, and uh, concerts. And so, it just one thing led to another. But uh, you know, five, uh, <laughs> three children later, all under five, I thought, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so during the day I did the mom thing, you know, cooking from scratch, diapers on the line and everything else. Yep. And then at night I needed to get out of the house, so I asked my mom and dad if they could baste it. And I went back to university and uh, I finished my degree in fine arts, majoring in music. Um, yeah. I remember uh, an, uh, an early memory, uh, earlier memory than that, <clears throat> um, when my dad, our, uh, you know, Tato would go up and sing uh, in the choir loft at the uh, Ukrainian Mass, and uh, Taras used yes. to go up there too, and yes. I would have my head on your lap, and you would be stroking yes. my hair throughout the Ukrainian Catholic Mass, because I was really bored, but the music was really nice, and yes. feeling your hair through my finger, uh, feeling your, your fingers through my hair was just a wonderful sensation. And uh, that was like one of my very fondest, earliest memories of hearing that music and uh, being there with you and smelling the incense. And I eventually went up there to sing along with that and look what happened. <laughs> well, I think you developed a very good uh, sense of uh, harmony, good ear training, listening, yep. you know, yep. and uh, letting it uh, and absorbing it. I mean, you were a very loving child. And, and look at you now, a loving man. <laughs> and I think you must have absorbed all the music we had in the family while you were still in vitro. <laughs> 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 because there was always music. I mean, yep. every party, every birthday was celebrated. And of course, uh, you learned, everybody learned the Ukrainian song, the blessing, you know, Stolit song. And yeah. because yeah. we had my brother, who's a Yep. Sopranos, George, and my mother, Roman know how to sing. My father, yep. And it was like, you know, twenty people, and you, it was like a choir. And of course, yep. um, yeah. yeah, we sing it to this day. <laughs> and um, and so I, I did notice that you had a good ear, you had good rhythm, you had um, uh, a happy, um, just outlook. Mm. Um, I was never really too keen to perform or be put on the spot. You would always say, Adrian ne but ne dute. I would always like pout. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your dancing monkey. <laughs> no, I know. But uh, the long car rides when we were, you know, kind of ca oh, yeah. captive with the music, um, singing was a wonderful outlet to pass the four hours it took to drive between Toronto and, uh, and Detroit and back. And I have yeah. lots of fond memories of singing ABBA and country songs and uh, and um, Barry Manilow. And uh, that was your style of music that got you happy, and uh, we sang along with that too. Um, we know you have a broad range of music, of course, and music appeal. Um, but uh, as a teacher, you kind of had to stick to with your materials. And that was really good for us because we kind of, as a... As a 
um, what's it called, um, <clears throat> a positive externality of you being a music teacher is that we also learned how to do music as well. So yeah, thanks for the patience there. Um, I also know that uh, um, when, oh geez, when we were kids, uh, you had to see Cats and uh, yes. Phantom of the Opera. We went as a family. Uh, Le Mis, we saw as a family. Uh, yeah. So seeing those big shows and knowing and songs, and then of course knowing and singing all the songs after the show, uh, yeah. being able to repeat all those tunes and stuff. That was that was definitely a worthy investment for um, money to, into musical talent because. We reap the benefits like, several times over from those shows. That's right. I really believed in that. And and I think one year I just forgot Christmas present. I said, I'm taking you all to Cats. And never mind sitting at the raft in the rafters. I want good seats, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Um, I mean, I go. Well, you know, you uh, you went to a separate high school than they did, and you sang in the choir. It was like ser what, Serendipity Choir? Yes, yeah, we called ourselves Serendipity. And you know where that yeah. comes from? That comes from Brothers by no. Choice, the book that uh, we had to read in grade 8 that you had suggested. Uh -huh. So again, that, that was you. <laughs> Me. I oh to my you. gosh, that's really <laughs> going way back. Yeah. yeah. I know why well, you were like. A I remember having to type out lyrics for songs and printing them out, uh, helping you <laughs> that way. Okay, yeah. No, it was more the internet. I mean, it's like um, iTunes had just come out. And you were so much faster than me on the computer and still are. And so I would make a list thinking, you know, um, you have to veer from curriculum. you got to keep up with the time. So, you know, I yeah. say, can you find this, this, this? Because I wanted to do actions with the seven eights. I wanted to do, uh, you know, different lummy stick activities yep. and, and all yep. that. And so I needed a really rhythmic piece. And so you were my go-to guy. I mean, can I sit on left? <laughs> You had the domain of the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so uh, you really helped out a lot, yeah. I think you really blossomed when uh, we switched you from uh, piano to guitar. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I was crying at the keyboard. I hated that it thing. It <laughs> your curiosity, and yeah. uh, it was a male teacher rather than that... Uh, elderly lady yeah and so i think that made a difference yeah yeah and uh and i remember so, several piano so, teachers yeah just uh one or two yeah yeah but the yeah, rudiments of I, music and having to do the theory i was not happy the guitar i could play popular music and and uh, i did i did yeah really take to that a lot better than the keyboard right, and there's yeah. always taras as well too uh he was really excelling at playing the keyboard and singing and uh, going uh, to uh, music concerts and performing and I really couldn't stay in that shadow for very long so I'm happy I switched no. to guitar. No, that's true. You took a different way, you did it your way and look at you now. Yeah, I mean, well he's an it... opera star and I'm a rock star. <laughs> What? I did not know this. Yeah, this is interesting. Right. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna Wikipedia. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, uh, I was uh, I was listening to your when you were uh, lecturing. I can't remember what number it was on uh, how you did um, the band rehearsals in my basement. Remember? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, and it was like you moved in. Taras moved on. You moved in. You decorated the theater. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I made a stage. A disco ball. Three. I had three. <laughs> drum, drum kit in the corner. Black wires and cords all over. Everywhere. The yes. Music yes. Uh, stands with pedals. Big, big, big. Um, um, what do you 
of you call them speakers. Yes. And now, uh, you know my chair in the living room. It's still my chair. And I read a lot. I still do. But it just so happened to be one floor above where you guys were. <laughs> <laughs> when you put on that piece, it was like the vroom, vroom. And I had a, a crystal, a light, my reading lamp. And it had little crystals on it. And every once in a while, it was shaped. <laughs> I can so picture that really well. <laughs> and then, I'm and sorry. Then one night, one night, you came up. I'm, you know, I go to bed late. One night, you came up. You said, "Mom, there's a fire in the fuse box." I said, "What?" Oh, what? I remember I, this. <laughs> I run downstairs and there's smoke everywhere. I don't know how you put the fire out, but, but we had to call. <laughs> it was twelve at night. Yes. Okay? Oh I my god. Because I was afraid to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so he just lived down the street, thank goodness. Yeah. He came over and he checked everything out and he said, No, I think it's okay. I still don't know how you put it out, but I had to call an electrician. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he had to rework a few things. I mean, did you just what, plug too many things? Yeah, that's essentially what it must have been, uh, and it wasn't. It wasn't tripping the uh, the fuse box. Uh, I I I remember seeing sparks, like n not like bright sparks shooting out. It was an arc. It was an arc that was, yeah, and it was making a big noise like a, and I'm like, okay, that is dangerous. I need an adult here. <laughs> oh yes. Anyway, so. Uh... <laughs> Lot. And, you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and then you did your other things. You were behind the stage and in front of the stage. Well, you did that superstar, uh, Jesus Christ superstar, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that that was my musical theater uh, experience. <clears throat> and then forming a band with Jesus Christ, because <laughs> he had a band <laughs> called Random Peace. <laughs> Yeah, that that definitely got the that was a good connection to get the ball rolling. <laughs> um, him and uh, Mark Tagarian and uh, Mark Tagarian, uh, who played the electric guitar while I was doing bass there for Jesus, um, he is now working for SoCan. Uh, he does um, um, what's it called uh, copyright stuff for musicians and Canadian artists, and I. Uh, know that there is a whole SoCan things that you have to do in order to register your music. So after I finished producing uh, my packages, uh, my concert theater play, my uh, e EPs, um, I am going to be going uh, through that process and I'm going to reconnect with him. So that's going to be pretty fun. Wonderful. And then you played a gig for me on my retirement, do you remember? I do. I Getting the Tascam uh, digital recorder. Yeah, I, I, I must produce some CDs for that. Uh, yeah, I, I gave you a challenge, I said, for my birthday, yes. since you know the music so well, because you guys played at the retirement, and yep. you all did uh, wonderful, yep. but I didn't have a memory of that, uh, and so I asked, if possible, could we rent a machine, and of course, you took up the challenge, and yep. you set it up, yep. and us came, and Larissa, and we went through the songs, not all of them, but most of them, yeah. and you burned a CD for everybody. Well, it was really easy to put together. Um, it was downstairs in the basement. I had the microphones, the cables. Uh, I had the stands. Um, we knew what songs you wanted. Uh, we rehearsed them. Um, they, we had all the equipment and the talent to make it possible, and for me to yeah. be able to mix it, arrange it, and uh, and produce it on a CD and burn it right there, and to make several yeah. copies. So that was a, a really good challenge for me. Um, again, a little but uh, <laughs> uh, I, it, as a, as a side project, it was excellent, and it worked out yeah. really well. And I'm happy that you're proud with the, with the end product. Um, so yeah, that actually turned out to be um, a worthwhile endeavor, and. Uh, it was a success. It really was. Yeah, I learned a lot, and uh, I can say, yeah, I I know how to do this process. Um, kind of well, similar to how I can. Sorry, I'm 
just wanted to say, I think you were, you're doing some of that work now, too, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in producing these videos. Yes. I'm sure, uh, you, you know, some of that knowledge is transferable to what you're doing now. Yes, exactly. I totally agree. Um, uh, I, doing audio-visual uh, or audio-video is uh, a little different. But I have enough wherewithal to do the sound and put things together and to um, create a song, track a song, uh, produce that song, and then apply it to the video. So again, it's like little side projects, but it all has an end goal where it's uh, right. coming together to make media and to tell our story. <clears throat> um, I have a special thanks. I mentioned in a previous video about me going to Japan and how uh, still living uh, downstairs and after graduating, before I started my career, I had an amazing opportunity to go visit our uh, Florida cousins and then go to Japan and uh, South Korea and Guam. And and you're just like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> this is a great opportunity. You you didn't you didn't say, oh, what what are the details? Or no, I don't think you should go convince me. You just said, yeah, go for it. <laughs> so thank you very much for that, mom. That was amazing. Well, okay. And it's just like when Tara said, mom, I think you know, I might want to go to Germany. I said, you know, to do a year in Germany. I said. Well, this is your chance, right? Go yeah. for it. Yeah. Yeah, so that was wonderful. So I think all my kids have traveled. I mean, you know, yep. uh, we don't want to list everywhere you've been, but I'm saying, yeah, I think you're well traveled. Never get too late to go anywhere, you know, further in your uh, life. But, you know, I kind of live vicariously through my kids. Mm. I mean, I never sought the spotlight. But music is a very important part of my life. It balances me. And uh, so, you know, I just feel that if you love music and you have it in your heart, you're never alone. I mean, you just put on a song and, and you might not even thinking of that song, but you hear it from a, a television show or something. Mm -hmm. Or somebody passes away, you haven't, you heard of them, but you never heard their music. So then you Google it quickly, and that, and then you see, oh, this guy is really good. I, and you feel sorry that the, he's gone. It's like, uh, you know. Um, yeah, but it brings yeah, appreciation I, for the artist. That's right. Yeah. And so... You know, doors open, new music. Yeah. Um, Opportunities yeah. for connection. Now with COVID almost over, I hope. Yeah. yeah. People are venturing out slowly. Yeah. 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 And uh, gigs are going to become available. You go to a pub where I can play and put on a show, or a theater where I can play and put on a show. Uh, Taras right. can do some stuff with the Canadian Opera Company once again uh, as part of the chorus, or maybe he'll get a role. Um, he also did a production in a in an art studio, uh, Regoletto, and uh, he played the main role. And he was the, one of the main uh, people to, to get the thing organized. So that was a success, I think. Uh, Larissa, as a school teacher, um, maybe she'd be able to do things extracurricular and get some music going on there as well. Um, yeah. So as things are lifting, I think uh, there's more opportunities for us to be able to play music and uh, include music in our lives. Well, uh, this has been a fantastic interview. We covered so many different topics. Um, um, your story, uh, how it bl blends in with my story, um, as well as the family and what you've done for the next generations. Um, how uh, uh, things of uh, the importance of technology and uh, the importance of actually going to live theater. So um, I think I've got a lot of stuff to work with, Mom, so we can draw this to a close. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to uh, be part of this and uh, help, help making another episode in uh, this ongoing series um, about my musicianship and uh, how things can, how, where I would like to take things. <clears throat> so uh, with that, yeah, um, uh, thank you once again, and uh, I hope you have a good night, and I'll, I'll definitely be in touch. And you out there in the internet, call your mom. She worries about you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Adrian, for this opportunity. I love you. I'm proud of you. And uh, keep the music coming. Yes, definitely will. Absolutely. Bye. <laughs> okay, papa. Love you. Love you, too.